usually I'm the first to um, call Ak out on his BS. You know, usually when Ak makes uh, uh, stupid comments and stupid remarks, I call him out on it. I try to hold his feet to the fire. This time, Ak didn't do anything wrong. Let's just go out there and say that, at least in my eyes. You let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Academics merely said what a lawsuit paper said about Meek Mills. And Meek Mills took it personal and crashed out in academics. And then, <laughs> look, 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 Nah, this shit is jokes. Rapper 5, redacted, but they tell you exactly who he is. Oh, yeah, he's a Philly rapper. Who, nigga, this is like Jeopardy. <laughs> he's a Philly rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Beep. <laughs> who is Meek Mill? Like, come on, bro. Like, what the fuck? And then the next person, RB Singer 6, redacted. Look. He performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. Usher! So do, are we taking this serious for Meek Mill? Because right now it doesn't seem like anything that these guys are saying nowadays are serious. They're just doing all this for promotion for their music, promotion for uh, something that they have going on. So to me, it's all monetary to me when these guys do these kind of nonsense. But anyway, academics uh, clearly read a piece of paper with some information about Meek Mill on it, uh, with the whole Diddy case. Uh, it has Usher and Meek Mill's name redacted in the paperwork. So academics who read the um, information from the paper use this context clue, just like everybody else would say, oh, this is Meek Mill. It says a rapper from Philly that used to date Nicki Minaj. Meek Mill. I don't know any other rapper from Philly that dated Nicki Minaj. Uh, it says an uh, uh, R&B singer that recently performed at the Super Bowl. Ooh. R&B singer is Usher that recently performed at the Super Bowl. Context clues. We're just using it. So Meek Mill gets upset and uh, start going crazy on academics, which makes no sense to me. Uh, I don't understand Meek Mill. Uh, when it's simply all he had to do is come out and say, hey, that's bull. Uh, that, you know, don't mix me up in anything that's gay. I'm not gay. Uh, whoever is gay, that's them. But I'm not gay. I'm straight. All he had to say. But instead, he come out threatening academics to do stuff to him. Now, this is the guy that's supposed to be uh, singing all this speech treaty stuff and telling you about how he's trying to build his community and he's trying to get black men out of prison and all type of thing. But you threatening people about stuff that has nothing to do with them. Academic merely covers um, what goes on in the entertainment world. So him reading off a piece of paper and using his context clues to figure out that was you that the piece of paper were talking about, I don't see that as a red flag or anything that academics did to Meek Mill himself. I think Meek Mill want to have a problem with academics and Meek Mill has an album or some songs that's coming out. So he's using this whole controversy for promotion because everything in these guys' eyes turned monetary. So academics been throwing his shot backs at Meek Mill, answering Meek Mill, clapping back, as, as people would say, uh, saying certain things to Meek Mill, as if, you know, you, you're not that good. Nobody's conspiring against you. You fell off. You're not the, you know, you're not the it rapper as you was one time. And uh, Meek Mill seems to be using this as promotion, as academics are saying. I see a lot of people in the comment sections and talking about it too, saying that's yeah, Meek is using this for promotion. Uh at all right at all times, any man have a right to defend yourself against anything that's negative on your name, of course. But when you, you know, before you jump out the window, you should do your homework. You should realize, hey, your name is in a lawsuit. This guy covers entertainment reports, he covers hot topics. Your name is in it, he's gonna talk about you. There's no reason for you to be mad at the person that's covering the news. That's like being, being mad at Anderson Silver. You know, um, Anderson Cooper, excuse me, not Silver. Anderson Cooper, because he's covering the news. Don Lemon and all the other, uh, the, 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 the newscasters, when they're covering the news, you're going to be mad at them because they're reading off uh, what the news was today. Doesn't make sense to me. Meek Mill is a guy that I realize that tries to bully people. And I think that uh, these academics have proved over the years that he's not really uh, intimidated by Meek Mills. And I think that bothers Meek Mill a lot because he thinks academic is a big P-U-S-S-Y. So he's, you know, wondering 
why I can't get this dude to fold. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Is this, uh, was this academics fault? Uh, academics use context clue. I mean, it's clear to me when I read the paper what uh, they're talking about or who they're talking about with the two uh, redacted names that are there. But they give you so much clues for you to figure it out. Uh, so was academics wrong? Or is once again, is Meek Mill jumping out the windows with his Twitter finger and threatening and doing stuff that he's not supposed to do. Let me know in the comment section, man. I'm out.